Hey tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up the simple little CDC sedge. The cinnamon colored little fly is perfect for fishing small creeks. I've had a lot of success so far this spring and into the early summer here, throwing this on shallow creeks and rivers. I like to find a little riffle and throw it in there. It floats nice and high and the hook just dips in a little bit. All right, I'm excited to show this one to you. Let's have a look at the material list and get started. Fresh hook in the vise. I'm tying with a Mustad R50 94840, and this is a size 12. And the thread I'm using is an 8 aught, actually 14 aught, I guess. And it's a brown color. So we're just going to start by putting a layer of ba base layer of thread on the hook down to the bend. And then we're going to take that up about three quarters of the way. And we're going to start off with two CDC feathers. And these are cinnamon brown. So what I do is I just match the stem tips, pull everything forward, and I'll tie it down by the tips. We'll wrap that down all the way to the, all the way to the tail, and then back up to our starting tying point. I'm going to match those stems up, and I'm going to use a pair of hackle pliers. Just going to give that a couple twists. And every time I go through. With the wrap, I'm just going to add another twist. And then I'm going to start wrapping these hackle, the CDC hackle back. Until we get into our tie-in point, I'm going to pull everything back at once and add a couple firm thread wraps here. Cut those stems away. Next I've taken about four of my shorter CDC feathers and I've just matched up the tips. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack those like a wing. I'm going to lay them out on top of the body and just use a couple thread wraps just to secure those in place. I'm also going to make sure that I provide a nice little thread base for the hackle that I'm going to tie on this pattern. Trim those stems away. So just wanted to quickly show you this saddle that I have. You can see it's got some nice variety. This is a whiting uh, dark barred ginger is what it's classified as. But as you can see, there's all sorts of different colors. We even got a little bit of Cree in there. There's some furnace, some light barred ginger, some straight brown in there as well. There's a nice variety. So what I like to use for this pattern is either a just like a medium to dark barred ginger or a furnace. So the furnace just has that black down the middle with the brown on the sides. So we're going to use this today. So 
I'm just going to start off by pulling a few of the hackle fibers off the back of the stem. And we're going to tie that stem in place and then fold it back and lock it down. I'm just going to add a half hitch here before we start wrapping. And I like to wrap with the hackle concave going backwards. So we need probably five or six wraps should be plenty. Looks good. Now I'll just tighten that down. Just going to add a half hitch here. And we'll add a whip finish. Just a spot of glue and we're good to go. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.